people. I love that sound it makes whenever it gets here. But anyways, welcome yeah, to Isaac, episode four. Kendra's God, right. It's still scary. The ABS me. is completely shot. I'll need your help to fix this. Kendra, if you can hear me, see if you can get to the ship's reports. It sounds like you have better access from there. When were you going to tell us about the artifact, Hammond? This marker. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. The marker. That. It's referenced in the captain's records. They brought it up from the planet. It was just like a highlighter <laughs> marker. In cargo. A Sharpie. They think it's of alien origin, but I don't know what the hell it is. Really? CEC didn't know anything about it. Stand by. You're lying. Back up! I am Dang. not the bad guy here. We're all shaky right now. You're gonna have to trust that I don't know anything about it. It's breaking up. We've entered the debris field. Get to the captain's nest. I'll explain everything later. Coming down. I was gonna say though, more than anything, those little pop-up things actually scare me quite a bit. I mean, granted, the necromorphs do get me once in a while, especially the baby fetus ones. You know, actually, I should stop prefacing it as baby fetus. I think if you if you say fetus, it's implied that it's a baby. And I kind of had a feeling that was gonna happen. Oh, taking him with me. God, he's legitimately coming along for the ride. <laughs> Alright, let's use this door before we go any further. But that was pretty scary. It did make me jump a little bit, even though I kind of knew it was going to... Wait, the hell was that? That must be the asteroids hitting the ship. Alright. Um, let's go ahead and sell one of the small med packs. Get rid of those line racks. Still can't buy a level 3 suit yet. And I think we're good. Okay. Let's go see what's making all that racket. We actually got a big open area for once, which is kind of nice. Uh-oh. Oxygen. Should we be depressurizing? Explosively decompressing? We have a hole for each. It's a save point. Okay, wait, what do we have to do here? System failure. System failure. Wee -oo, wee -oo. Give me that. Yeah, that plasma energy. But I like that this is a big open area, you know? I think this is the first time. This game's all about having really claustrophobic and cramped environments to really give you that sense of being trapped and, and helpless. That's kind of a nice open area. It's a nice change of scenery for once. Even if we didn't get to stay there long. Schematic. Oh, level three suit. Speak of the devil. Oh yeah, baby. Oh look, it's Hammond. Isaac. It was the first time Damn, we met back up since the beginning. The place is making me jumpy. Yeah, <laughs> you're telling me, man. Look, I know Kendra doesn't trust me, but I don't know anything about a marker or anything else. This is supposed to be. What do you know about the sharpie? Plain and simple. Answer me, Hammond. This mess. What happens if I shoot him? Is the asteroid defense system. Flame fuel. When the main power routing is shot. You're gonna have to reroute the main three junction boxes to activate the primary cannon. Oh, but first, you need to activate the atrium elevators from bridge security. You can use them to get to the junction boxes. Okay, junction boxes it is. By the way, Isaac, 
Be careful. I saw something out there. I don't know what. I only got a glimpse. But it was big. Really big. Something big, really big. Just to list the names, I guess. I probably should have looked if Nicole was on there. So. Shit. Oh god. Stand back. Thought that one was dead when I sealed the pod. These things don't die easily. Hey, there goes one of our escape pods, man. Do we not have? Are these all empty? Oh man, I think he just wasted our only escape pod. You could have just opened the door and I could have shot it pretty easily. I mean, I've only killed about a hundred of the necromorphs so far. But anyway, as, as I was saying, something big kind of alludes to maybe the worm or a boss fight or something. Let's see where we need to go. Calm array levels. Okay. Can't go in there yet. Oh. Oh, God. Oh, that's the something big. Don't charge me. Shoot it in its little... Shoot it in the back, Isaac. Shoot it in the bike. Shoot it in the back. Shoot it in its ass. God, this flashing light, stop. He's blinding me. I need to cut off its limbs at those weak points. There we got one. Quarantine lifted. No, it's not dead, is it? Just let me make sure. Cut off all its limbs. Five thousand credits. That's what I'm talking about. Damn, what was that thing? Look at its look at its face! It's got like walrus teeth. <laughs> awesome though. We got 5,000 credits. And I already have I think uh, 15,000 left over. So that hopefully is enough to buy the level 3 suit. Let's open up all these storage bins. Get some more stuff. And that's what all that plasma energy was scattered around for. In case you run out. You know, I wonder what would happen if you ran completely out of ammo. You'd have to punch him to death? That kind of sounds like an interesting hard mode challenge, you know, for a veteran of the game. An all melee playthrough where you just have to punch everything out. That music is really unsettling. I feel like the strong feeling something's about to pop out. He's being paranoid. Level 3 suit. How much is it? 20,000? Oh, I have just enough. Perfect. Give me that new suit, baby. Oh yeah. Now we're talking. My arm is like super armored up. Go ahead and sell all the extra stuff we picked up, like the fuel. Um, get rid of that plasma energy. I really don't need that much. I picked so much of it up.
And the thing is, it's, I almost have a full 25 round clip in my gun already. Because I have 18 plus 25. Make us whole uh, again. And that scared the crap out of me. Uh, see, it's things like that that get me. It's not so much the monsters, although the one popping out of the window did scare me a little bit, the tentacle thing, I think, at the beginning. But it's more so the, the screens that just keep popping up out of nowhere. Alright. I need, I needed four to finish off the plasma cutter, and I only have three, unfortunately. So we'll do what we can. And last one will be capacity. And then we can start working on something else. Maybe I'll buy a new gun besides the plasma cutter and try upgrading that, or we'll see. Oh, this also means I have more storage space in my inventory because of the new suit. From the looks of it, it looks like maybe there's two more suits all the way up to level 5, because at the rate that I've been gaining storage, it looks like there's enough space for two more suit upgrades. Uh... Oh, there's the elevator control. I almost Feature ran right by it. Right ahead. This is mutiny. You'll all be tried for mutiny. Kind, make them listen to reason. 